So in my practice today, I'm working on shallowing out my downswing because I can get really steep. You might have seen it in my previous videos, especially the fixing the inside takeaway, which is still a work in progress, still cracking on with that tendency of trying to fix those rolly wrists. But I just noticed that in my swing, I've gone back to being quite steep to the point where it almost looks like in the downswing that my shaft is coming down almost like vertical, really, sort of at a midnight or 11 o'clock angle on the clock rather than getting that nice shallow, that drop from the top that I've been on a quest to get. So in my practice, the focus is to try and find the feeling that will allow me to shallow my club in the downswing, really just to build awareness of that feeling, to try and then have that feeling that I can then hopefully replicate in my practice on the range and ultimately on the course. But the reason that I wanna find that feeling is because I don't think I've ever had it. I don't think I've ever really been able to shallow the club in the downswing. And without that awareness of the feeling that creates the move that we want, I just find it's almost like trying to do something without a little bit of muscle memory or a little bit of a map of how to get there. So that is my challenge today, is to find the feeling that I can then use to shallow out my downswing. And to help me do that, I've got the swing plate here because I think I've realized that I learn better <laughs> and faster when there's something physical there, when I get a bit of physical feedback. And in this case, with the swing plate, which I'm gonna to match to my seven iron, the shaft here. So it's, the idea is that when I'm standing over the ball, I'll sort of match the stick to, to my shaft angle. And the goal is to swing under the stick, which would hopefully help me create that inside path but if I don't swing under, swing under the stick, I'm gonna hit the stick. And it's that physical feedback that I just find gets my brain and body figuring out what it needs to do in order to not get hurt, maybe, or not hit the stick. And I'm hoping that by doing that, starting out with some really slow swings, really just trying to find that feeling and then building up to some more like slow-mo and then maybe full swings, I'm hoping that using this drill would just help me identify the feeling that I can then groove and get that, that move grooved into my swing to hopefully go from being the more kind of steep shoulder driven downswing to hopefully getting a little bit more of that shallowing feeling going on, which as I say, has just felt quite alien to me because I don't think I've ever done it or ever been aware that I've been doing it. So that's my, my focus in today's practice. Let's see how we go. Bit thuddy. Still a little bit out to win, but again, we're just trying to build that feeling. The positive is we didn't hit the stick. It was a little fast, wasn't it? Heading in the right direction. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, last time I missed was to the right. So at least that's a little bit of progress, but not quite how we want it to go. This is why I have to really try and remember not to worry too much about the outcome of the shot, but you can't help it, can you, when you're, when you're watching it, right? Let's try and get that feeling of letting the club drop. That felt better. It's still saying out to win though, I think, with a negative club path, which is surprising. Let's see if we can get that to a positive number. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's me saying I'm gonna go slow. Can't help myself. That felt better. Okay, so I guess even though, and this is where I know like club, you know, Focus-wise, club path, I'm trying to go for an inside number just to really go to the opposite of what I've previously been getting, which is more of that out to in. But here, you know, when I look at the shot shape, I'll take that because it's sort of somewhat coming back to its line. And you'd hope that if that is a target or that's a green, we're not, you know, we're not crazy like having to save ourselves there. So I know that in this case, I'm looking at the club path and I'm thinking, oh gosh, okay, minus 2.2, I want it to be plus. But again, sometimes it's more just about if I was thinking about this as a shot on the course, I'd be happy. But the challenge for today, the focus for today is really just trying to get that extreme feeling of what would create more of that inside path, which is why I'm sort of trying to chase that down a little bit. A little pre-rehearsal. Really exaggerate that feeling. Because I think that's the key, isn't it? If I know that my steep downswing looks a bit more like that and feels a bit more like that, therefore I'd hit the stick. To think of the opposite, which is just how I find it quite helpful in my swing when I am making changes, to think of that opposite to the tendency. So if my default is to get a bit steep, get a bit vertical, would be in like hitting the stick, the opposite of that, the extreme opposite that I can exaggerate in my practice and dry drills is to do this, to really bring the club in what feels like a lot flatter. And again, it's just about exaggerating that feeling 
to find that happy medium. It doesn't mean that I'm suddenly going to go to be able, as we can see, do this in my swing. But I think hopefully if I'm aware of this feeling, I won't just sort of fall back to my default. And instead I can try by thinking of that feeling, trying to execute it in my swing, that progress might happen and I might get to the stage where I can shallow the swing, not necessarily without thinking about it. So I think that's something I've always struggled with in golf is I've always been trying to do these dry drills, get to the feeling where it's muscle memory and you don't maybe have to think about it. And actually something, a little light bulb sort of went off for me recently, which is more, if I can just get to the clarity of maybe one swing thought that I know that I've practiced, that I've got the reps in for, and that when I execute that feeling or that swing thought, I've built confidence that I know it creates the shots that I hope for, or at least, like we were saying, those sort of misses are not so destructive. It's not then necessarily not about thinking about anything in my swing at all, but it's just trying to really focus in on maybe one feel that I know when I execute it well, it creates the shots that I can play to and that I want to play to. Oh, minus three. Okay, could be finding ourselves in a greenside bunker there. So let's try and get that drop going more. Still up there, constantly on the quest. But again, we we'll take it. I think the key is that I just hope that by getting the reps in like this, and this will be something that I take with me to the range every time I'm hitting balls, I think I'm gonna be popping this stick up just to make sure that I stay on top of that tendency and don't slip back to my, my bad habits of getting a little bit too steep. But hopefully that every time I'm hitting with the stick there, it's just helping my body get a little bit more familiar, grooving that move that I'm after bit clean. Oh, best yet. My, still a minus, but we will get there. That felt good actually. I've got to now think, what did I do there? I think that was a bit more patient at the top. <gasps> 1.7. Positive number. Positive number. Okay. <laughs> I'm after that drawer. I know it's not quite, that's obviously you know, more of a pull, but progress. Oh, maybe not. So bad though, we're getting there. That, I think that was a bit shoulders. So I wanna just really try and not have the shoulders drive too much in my downswing. Instead, let the club drop and go. Cool, I got quite close to the stick there on my backswing. Panicked. Positive though. And again, here we go, come on. Stay online. Okay, so that felt a little bit more like the feeling was, I mean, I like to try and think of a positive, but the negative of it is sort of coming to me of like, don't do something. So it felt like I wasn't so drivey with my shoulders. It felt like by being a bit more patient with the shoulders and letting the club drop, I wasn't sort of tugging myself out this way. So if I can just really try and find, because I think this is where the key is that we're yet to hit the stick. So I'll take that from like a club path perspective, but obviously something was still having me creep to being out to in rather than in to out. So seeing those negative rather than positive numbers. And then when we've started getting the positive numbers, I think the thought that I've been trying to stick to is just being a bit more patient with the shoulders rather than feel like I'm sort of tugging them out, I guess, or sort of driving with the shoulders, more a sense of driving across this way, like having that shift and giving the time for the club to drop, but not feeling so tuggy, which is how I would describe my sort of downswing before. It felt almost like I'd, yeah, drive with the shoulders and just pull, pull myself out this way a little bit rather than even give myself a chance to drop the club. And I'd love to hear if you've been working on getting more of that inside path, that drop from the top as well. Let me know if there's a feeling that you feel really just cracked it for you that clicked into place, I'd love to hear in the comments below and I'll see you there.